whose entire life has not been peeled back. But if people are already finding her ex-hamster screen caps. <laughs> By the way, I was reading an article. Vice did a thing. They were talking to a vomit fetishist. You know, this girl's like, can't make me want to puke. They talked to somebody who gets off on puke. And they were like, how do you get into that? And they were just like, well, I, you know, the very first time that I uh, saw it, you know, I was uh, sexually aroused. They said they watched the vomit scene in Super Size Me. You see that documentary where Morgan Spurlock eats nothing but McDonald's for a month? Uh-uh. I didn't see that And then chronicles one. the changes his body goes through. It's about, uh, it's over a decade old, I think. He vomits in that? Yeah. Hmm. And um, they said, uh, yeah, they were like, uh, that's, st- I wasn't sure why it turned me on, but it started to. What is it about vomit that turns you on? The appearance, they said. My favorite type is natural vomit caused by too much alcohol or illness. Ew. Mm-hmm. No, that's... I yep. mean, if that's what you're into, I... Uh, it's what you're into. Uh, I think it's called... What's it called? Sick. A metaphilia is what it's called. Ew. Vomit fetishists. Now, again, this would be a pretty high confront if you're dating somebody who's into that. Because at some point they're going to go, hey, by the way, I really like it if you puke on me. Because then you got to have like a, when you go to dinner, you know what's coming after. Do you have to date a bulimic person? I don't know. The circle of life. I'm not sure. They probably find those people very sexy because they barf all the time. Well, this person says, I can get turned on by my own, but I really hate the feeling of vomiting. I'm mostly turned on by other guys vomit. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. Oh. This is a gay man who's into vomiting. So as if there weren't enough plates you had to spin being a gay guy in 2017, you also have to go, by the way, I really like puke. That's pretty niche right there. That's really niche. Yeah. Yeah. It's deep cut. That's the B side. Yeah. He likes it when they (laughs) swallow, but only for a little while. That's right. I like it to come right back up. You can swallow, but don't digest. Do you worry about revealing your kink to partners? Well, it does make me feel dirty and a creep, but I don't worry about telling my partners. There you go. My, my ex accepted it, and it had no significant impact on my relationship. Well, usually it makes them kind of nauseous anyway, so <laughs> he's halfway there. Like, uh, what turns you on? Oh, I'm going to be uh, sick. Yeah, you are. What's the most extreme thing you've done to find vomit, they ask? Oh, no. I've licked the vomit of a handsome man from the edge of a loo. So I guess this is a, this yeah, is a see, British I'm going to vomit. Again. Yep. No. What's wrong with people? Mm-hmm. Deal breaker. You oh, think? On Christmas Eve, I caught a batch of vomit in the street. I saw a man vomiting, and then I used my hands to pick it all up. Oh, oh God. don't eat street <laughs> vomit. Come on. <laughs> uh, if we've learned anything, it's domestic vomit only. You got to know where it came from. That's so nasty. <laughs> I found a man vomiting in the toilet without flushing it at a station near my home, and I used a bag to scoop it up and take it oh, home. Oh, God. Yeah. I had problems storing it properly as I mainly put it in my rubbish bin or under my bed. But in the summer, it rots very fast. So now I store my takeout vomit in a freezer. And do what with it? Probably with freezer pops. He eats it? Like yeah, puke pops. I don't know yeah, if you put it in the freezer. Yeah, I don't know exactly. Because yeah, he's, he's not eating it, is he? <sighs> Does he eat it? Oh, I don't That's know. what he says he likes. Oh. Oh, I can't. I can't. Well, anyway. Don't do that. That guy, you know, it's nice to peer into other people's lives and I'm see what they're into. I'm good not saying that. Oh, I like all these mm-hmm. things. It's the pastiche of life. I'd like to pretend it's that so doesn't exist. interesting to me. Oh, yeah? Yep. Okay. 